everyone, this is Kathy from The Daily Marker. How are you today? I want to share some cards with you. Um, I had so much fun creating. I'm using the Build a Flower Peony Blossom, Peony Blossom from Alt New and their brush Alpha Dyes. I mean, so much fun. Um, I can't wait to show you how I watercolored this background using the Peony Blossoms, one of the layering stamps. And then I want to show you how I made this background on this for this card here too. Um, I'm using their watercolors. I really enjoy using them. So let's go ahead and get started. These are what the um, Build a Flower Peony Blossoms look like. I'm using the dye and the flower. They're layering flowers, but I'm using doing a different spin and I'm watercoloring the layering part. So I'm using this paper. Someone gave this to me to try, so I wanted to check it out today. Um, and I'm going to start by die cutting the flowers. So I'm using the water, I'm die cutting them with watercolor paper. And I'm putting it through this little alt new die cutting machine. I love it. It's white, which I love, and it has flowers. It's so pretty. It has rubber feet on the bottom, but I have it just sitting here on my paper pad. Um, so I need to use two hands. Now, if your dies move around, you can put some post-it paper just to hold them in place or washi tape or whatever. I'm sure you do this anyway, but I just thought I would point it out in case you don't. Um, I don't have a lot of washi tape, so post-it notes work for me. And then I like to use the negative area and then that shows me I stick my die cut in there and stamp it. That way it doesn't wiggle around and stuff. You guys probably do the same thing, but if you don't, that's how I do it. Now, um, I'm using some of uh, the black ink. Alt New is a great black ink to watercolor with, but I'm using that on the centers of the flowers only. And this is a beautiful set of um, watercolors. So I know this sounds like an ad for Alt New. This is part of a blog hop for the uh, Build a Flower, but I'm only using these other products because I really enjoy using them. So I just want you to know that. Now I've die cut these leaves and I'm just putting a layer of watercolor on the leaves and then I'm using that I stamped it with the uh, layering stamp, like the last layer, which is the detail layer. So I'm using those beige lines as a guide to look like I know what I'm doing and that I'm watercoloring. So you watercolor on top and it looks like you've, you're an artist. Um, so you could always stamp it, but I think you get more color variation when you use watercolors. And it's just something, another fun way to use your layering stamps to stamp that final layer and then just watercolor on top of it. So deep breath, uh, I don't know. My whole voiceover got deleted before, so I'm kind of jazzed up. Now, um, I'll talk about the slur. It's more important to notice above my left hand that gorgeous little glass water dish I was with Lydia in Texas for a road trip and she took me to the most amazing antique store. I cannot get it out of my head. Um, it's called Oddity something. But um, so this is a salt and pepper antique thing and it's perfect for watercoloring. I like that it's not too high and it's pretty and fun to use. So it's just so fun. Um, okay, so back to my regularly scheduled post here. Um, so I just like to add color on one side of the petal and then I like to blend it out. So first I put a line of color on each leaf and then I'm bringing my brush. Now you'll see on this one, this is how I normally like. So I take my brush on the color and I bring that color down into the center of the leaf and then I take my brush on the white part and meet the color and that way I don't wash it out with too much color and I kind of preserve that sweet spot 
I like, that's what I like to call it, a sweet spot, a lighter area on the petals. And then it looks like you spent a lot of time and it looks like you know where the shadows are, but you don't. Well, if you do it this way, you don't, because I don't. I don't like to pay attention to that. I just want to color. I want to enjoy the process. And I don't want to stress about where the shadows are coming from. So now this, I'm doing the exact same thing. I sped it up. Sometimes it's almost easier to see the process. But I keep, if I get too much color on my brush, I dab it off on my towel, like there, there. And then I bring the water to that color. That way I keep that sweet spot. So I hope that makes sense. The best thing to do is just to try it and you'll understand better. Um, but these were so fun to color. They have, they're a nice wide open space. Perfect to try techniques. Um, and this is a great way to use your layering stamp. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this flower and then I'm going to Use the accent layer of this stamp set you know, where you're building the layers. I'm going to use the last layer, um, the beige that I stamped in before. Now I'm using that line as a guideline to add accent lines. Um, something I love to do, and a lot of times I've discovered that people, you know, where do I add these lines? So the layering stamps are a great way to show you where to add. You just color over that stamped detail and it's easy and fun. So that's what I'm doing. Um, it, you know, you because it's a detail line, it takes a little bit longer, but it doesn't take a long time. And I enjoy it. I love adding lines and dots. It's kind of, it's one of my top 10 coloring tips. So, um, what else? I'm just using, I just grabbed a brush. I didn't pay attention to what it was or anything. Um, and now I'm just going to speed it up because I'm doing the exact same thing. And I'll be finishing all my flowers. And then once they dry, I'm going to add another line, another detail line, just for a little extra color. I'm just kind of going for some artistic flowers today. Um, I guess that's just the kind of mood that I was in. Plus, I, I wanted to use these watercolors. I've been using like a lot of um, watercolor markers and I just wanted to play with these. So. It's been really fun and I love how there's this fold out palette that you can just mix the colors with so I just take dip my brush into the color put on the palette add a little bit of water and I'm set to go so now I'm adding that detail line I was talking about and the space between what I painted and and the next line well, let's just say between the lines, I'm adding another line. It's like a little baby Y or triangle at the top of the petal. And then I bring the line down. So it's a little thicker at the top and then like a straight line down. And I'm just doing that all the way around on every petal, on every flower. I use some different colors, um, like this one's purple. And it just, I just love doing stuff like this super easy super fun and then I'm going to take um, to finish my cards I love the brush alpha dies so as you can see I've die cut the love word here now and I've stamped the last layer of the flowers on my background so I put some of the um, watercolor paint in this little cup added some water. I just kind of want a wash of color and I'm just using, just taking a wash over those detail lines. I did this like years ago. Um, I love using one of the elements of a layering stamp as a background, um, but I haven't watercolored it before. And this, it was so fun and relaxing and just like a nice kind of subtle artistic background. And I just chose like a very soft turquoise because then my bright flowers will pop on the background. 
Um, so once I finish this, I just want like kind of like a little subtle rainbow popping through the letters and I'll just be watercoloring like a strip. Um, so I always like to put a pop of color on the inside of my cards with cardstock and then here's where I'm going to put my panel on. So I've just watercolored a strip and then you see that through the lines. I'm going to set that, I'm going to actually heat set that. Now I watercolored these in yellow and they weren't bright enough so I just scribbled some marker on top and I'm stacking these um, and then I'm going to curl up my petals and then put them on assemble all my layers so I um, popped that card panel and now I'm going to put some foam tape on the back of this as well just to pop it I like to fluff up those petals give them a little bit more dimension and then I'll put it on my card. I want it to cover a little bit of the letters. Now here's, um, I actually watercolored this when I was away. I took the mar the, um, the markers. Now notice first the stem, I extended it by not die cutting. I put my plate so it didn't meet the very tip of that, the end of the stem, and that way I could extend it. So the stem is a little bit longer on the one on the right. You can see it compared to the one on the left. And underneath it is where I die cut it. So then I extended that. I just wanted to create like a, a little thing. But anyway, what I wanted to show you is how I did the stripes for the background. Sometimes I'm like at a loss. I love to color and I do a lot of one layer things. And then I'm like, oh. How am I going to finish this? So adding stripes is a fun way. Um, I feel like watercolor goes with the front of the card, which is watercolored. So I just drew some lines and then I'm just watercoloring. So I sped this up really fast. It's just basic watercoloring. And just wanted to show you that. And then it really makes the peony pop on top of that. Um, I keep going back and adding a little bit more color and then I just did some free-handed lines so my lines just got a little bit bigger. In the top right corner is my new little baby antique ruler. It folds open. It's so fun. I love, we have kind of a contemporary house, but I love incorporating antiques. So this is how it looks. I um, tied some twine and I offset it just so you'd see part of that partially die cut background. And then here's my other two cards. So I hope you picked up some tips. A thumbs up if you like this. I hope you'll subscribe. Um, and thank you for watching. Everything will be linked below. Have a great day.